Hey guys, um, thank you for all your tweets. I look revolting because I don't have any makeup on. <laughs> okay, so by popular demand, um, Lauren's makeup from Saturday, um, which is here. I hope you can see it. It's her profile picture at the minute on Twitter. Um, so everybody's asked for this look. So here we go. Um, right, so when I start with Lauren, um, I, I moisturised her skin. And with that I used um, just a really light moisturiser, which is here, it's called Cordaily, you can never pronounce it. And it's... Um, first wrinkle cream okay so just a, re a really small amount because uh, obviously you don't want the skin to be too greasy so just enough to give it a little bit of hydration and then so just especially just around the dry areas which is like around the nose and uh, my skin's normally quite oily so I don't really use a lot of moisturizer if anything I use um, Dermalogica oil control, uh, so that's really good at night. I've got a huge spot there, which I've kind of picked. Okay, so I start off with um, Studio Sculpt, that's MAC, and this is NC35, um, which is really good for this section of the face because the face has different dimensions, so you don't want the whole face to have one shade. You need to create um, sculpture to the face. So you do that by what we call contouring, which you can do with uh, foundation, but also with uh, powder, which I'm, I'm gonna get to in a minute. So this is basically how um, I start. And um, I don't use a lot of concealer, which you can, probably see I don't have dark circles but uh, if people do I um, I have a palette which I'll show you which I uh, I got from screen face um, in London it's, uh, near Covent Garden and it's really good because it's it's got pretty much every color you would need um, and uh, it's also got uh, kind of like a green to cover up any any redness or spots. So okay, I use this brush on Lauren for her foundation, which is Mac 190. But for my own personal use, which I'm doing today, I use my fingers. And with when I do um, Lauren's makeup or anybody's makeup. I uh, I use the brush and then I blend it in with my fingers because brushes can leave lines um, and you can use brushes like this um, which don't leave so many lines, it's 190 but again I don't get on with it very well so it's really personal, um, you know everybody will say different things and that's basically my choice. So now I'm going on to face and body. Uh, which is MAC, and this is C5. So, um, C5, C's are for olive toned skins, and NW's are for uh, sk skins that are um, like more like pale red toned. Um, okay, so where I'm putting that is around these areas because that is where the sun would hit so then you get more of a, a dimension to the face and oh, I always do the neck I mean some people don't again it's personal but I just think it flows better and you can still see my spot which I'm aware of <laughs> um, but what I what I tend to do is let the, the skin take on the foundation and then I go back to different areas so I'm, I'm completely aware of that um, but I'm going to cater to it in just a minute. Um, 
so this is an absolute essential. It's a shoe, shoe mirror. I can never say that properly. Um, eyelash curler. I have to always 110% curl my uh, my lashes, and I always do with the girls. It just it's so wrong not to. I mean, I don't know if you can see uh, the difference already, but it just it just really opens up the eye. And if you just slightly sort of move it out and keep pressing, you don't get a complete just flick. It's like a natural flick. So can you sort of see that? I hope so, whereas that's just jetting out. Um, okay, so just do the other eye. And then, after I've done the lashes, what I then do is um, I powder the skin. So at the minute I'm using this brand which I've been tweeting about a lot, which I really like, it's mineral powder and this is number three. Um, some people use mineral powder just for the skin and no foundation, it's, I think that's how they recommend to use it, but I don't always abide by the rules. Because if something doesn't work for me, then I do it my way, which does work for me. And this is exactly what it did for Lauren. Put it on over the foundation and it it looked amazing. So, um, not to be too, too big-headed. But, um, okay, so basically I'm just, again, focusing on the oily areas. Don't put powder where you don't need it. You know, if you... If, if you don't, if it's dry and you don't need it there, then then don't bother. Um, so there's my spot still. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of mineral powder there and focus as well on the uh, chin because I get quite a bit of a red chin. Right. So the next brush I'm going to do, use is an angled brush. Uh, this is one six three Mac. Um, and then what I'm going to do is use uh, some power Mac again, bit of a Mac fan, um, and just build up with your bronzers. Like don't go nuts. So I'm just contouring the cheek. If you feel where your cheekbone is, and then just powder slightly under it, and sort of bring it up right to the ear, because otherwise you just get this chunk. It doesn't really sort of blend in very well. Just doesn't look very natural. So I always start off fairly light and keep building. Um, so just doing the same again this side. And then with the sort of excess on the brush, I then go either side of the nose. That keeps it looking nice and slim. Then I just dust the chin and under the jawline. But really kind of brush it out because otherwise it looks obvious and you don't want that and just dabbing a little bit more and going right into the hairline um, because the worst thing is, is if you can see a slight rim so I, I really actually almost just go onto my hair because I don't like to see any kind of gaps it's such a awful giveaway right okay so now I'm going to go back to this brush which I love, I just used a minute ago, 182 MAC, surprise, surprise. <laughs> um, okay, so now I'm using a different bronzer. This is mineralized, skin finish, dark. Okay, so you can see the difference. This is a bit more terracotta and it's good for the cheeks and this is good just to, for sort of all over after you've powdered and everything. Um, especially the girls, you know, they like to be quite tanned. So um, this I now just go over with everything, which just kind of really gives a nice bronze colour because, you know, you don't want your face to look like, like a pancake, um, like all one colour of anything. You, you know, you, you need to sort of create dimensions. So... That's why it's really important to use different 
foundations and mix and put colours where they need it. So already you can see I look like I've got a bit more life to me and I don't look completely horrendous like I did a minute ago. And now I'm going back to my um, my uh, sun, sun power, okay? So back again in here. So again, like I say, I build up. So you really get that kind of chiseled look. Okay, and all the same areas back around there, there under the jaw and either side of the nose. Maybe just a dash more. Okay. Can you guys see that? Fab. Right, so now I'm going to go back to that horrible spot. Um, which I'm going to use that of my Studio Sculpt. NC35. Um, I'm not a huge concealer fan. Um, I just always struggle to find something really good. So what I tend to use is uh, either Studio Sculpt or Studio Fix Fluid and just dab it on. Um, you know, like again, everyone's different and there really isn't any rules in makeup. It's personal. Um, so, you know, people always say different things and I would just say if it works for you, then fantastic. So, going to just dab a little bit more of my um, number three Priory Mineral Powder back over the spot. And the spot is pretty much hidden. So I was saying to somebody the other day about um, spots is if you dab quite a bit of powder on and just leave it for a second, it will sort of absorb in. And then if it looks too, sorry, I have a hair in my mouth, if it looks too heavy, you can just sort of buff it out a little bit. So, yeah, I'm pretty pretty happy with that. I might go back to it in a minute, but okay. Eyebrows, central. Um, so Mac, two o four. Um, right. So just just brush them, get them into the sort of shape you want, and then now I use spiked. Mac and um, okay, so you know, the girls on Towie like quite dramatic eyebrows. So, um, here's what's to do you know, you basically want to kind of line it up with your eye there and then there. But I don't like to exaggerate them too much because you don't want to look sort of draggy. Okay, so take tiny little strokes because then, I mean, some people use powder, but again, personal preference. Um, with this, what I find is it almost looks like loads of tiny little hairs, so it's quite natural because powder just gives a very block effect um, which you know I'm not a huge fan of but if I do use powder in a brush I um, I keep brushing it out to uh, sort of make it look as though there's there's a few gaps so it actually still looks natural um, 